line, step up. Can you help me put this layer on the Hapana? Yellow to the Kane. Kane, get all the yellow lay. You happy? Yeah, boy lay. See, you get both because she's both. Before the coming of foreigners to our islands, we Hawaiians lived in aloha, in harmony with the land and with one another. Every person had their role in society, whether male, female, or mahu. Those who embraced both the feminine and masculine traits that are embodied within each and every one of us. Mahu were valued and respected as caretakers, healers, and teachers of ancient traditions. We passed on sacred knowledge from one generation to the next through hula, chant, and other forms of wisdom. When American missionaries arrived in the 1800s, they were shocked and infuriated by these practices and did everything they could to abolish them. They condemned our hula and chant as immoral. They outlawed our language and they imposed their religious strictures across our lands. But we Hawaiians are a steadfast and resilient people. And so, despite 200 years of colonization and repression, we are still here. Stand up straight. Stand tall. I need, I need this. This is what I need from you all the time. I know learn this. I want that. I need this. Ai kamumu ke ke na ke ke pa hoi hoi ke. Ai kamumu ke ke. Ai kamumu ke ke. No. Listen to my voice. There's nothing wahine about my voice. It's too thick and it's too low. Ai kamumu ke ke na ke ke. When I am in front of the entire school, you guys know that I expose my life. What the younger kids think about me, that's up to them. But you as older people know. Now you gentlemen got to get over your inhibitions. I want you to be so out there that by the time this end of the year product production comes, I want your family to be like, frick, I don't even recognize them. Ready, lunge forward, right. One, 
and two and three and four and five. <laughs> When I was in high school over 20 years ago, I had a very rough time. I was teased and tormented for being too girlish. But I found refuge in being Hawaiian, being Kanaka Maoli. My purpose in this lifetime is to pass on the true meaning of aloha. Love, honor, and respect. It's a responsibility that I take very seriously. Stop. If you expect me to be nice to you people, kane wahine wahine kane, your words need to improve. I'll do it once for you. Aloha vale ka hoa hele ke kanaka pili ko olua ole. E ole anaka maka eva evo loko neie ki pa mai u haile mai e. And anything less than that and you're demoted from your rank and stature as wahine kane kane wahine and you just go back and oh, ready, right, back to the regular old riffraff. Hookie the crown off the head. Sit down. This is Ho'onani. One of the Sometimes. chiefs. Us four are warriors in the play. Where are the warriors? No, we're not warriors. Wait, we're just warriors. Yeah, we don't fight in the scene. She's girl. actually considered a boy. Okay. Yeah. Tomboy, tomboy, tomboy. Hanani is um, a mixture of a girl and a boy. She's um, she's a good hula dancer, she plays ukulele, she sings. I mean, everybody accepts it. It's not, it's not like a big thing. Yeah. As the seven generations, we must all become a nation. When you first look at me, oh yeah, oh yeah, are you a boy? I'm like, um, no. But, and then they give me like a look. But it's all a natural thing. Kumu's in the middle too. Everybody knows that. And it's not a secret to everybody. What middle means is uh, mm, a rare person, a rare. It's not easy for a mahu to find a partner. Most men are just too afraid of what other people will say. But I got lucky. I met Hema in Tonga where I was working as a translator for a cultural project. And we hit it off right from the beginning. When he took me home to meet his family, I knew that he was serious. There's not too many Tongan men who would do that with a mahu. Eventually we got married in Fiji and I left him there to wait for me while I came home to file his papers for U.S. immigration.
kakoau, un kai kiu toka ngau ke lawa kakai. Kai ke pule hata haya te ao. Ko ma fo fo fe ta lak mohina, nai kai ke wo ngoi, fo ka ma ia ha me. O ke fe fe ka pe ogro to, ke o fo ke okmari, ok me ya o mai okmari, ke a ve ogi hawai. Ko mi si la he okmari. It's been really difficult communicating while he waits for his visa to come through. But in a very short amount of time, I know that I will be reunited with him. I love you, hi. And then begins a new chapter in my life. Hi, Han. This is the KHON2 News at 6, Hawaii's number one news. All major construction on Honolulu's rail project has stopped in the wake of a Supreme Court ruling that archaeological work was not done thoroughly before construction began. When native Hawaiian burials are disturbed, the Oahu Island Burial Council ensures remains are properly treated. One of the greatest challenges is to reconcile native Hawaiian culture and values with Western discipline, Western law, and the, the Western um, legal system. Aoya, aloha mai kako. Mahalo anui ko kako hui ane ke ya abake nei. Mahalo ya oko e kahu ke naina. For my people, ancestral remains are more than just bones. They are our connection to our families and to our past. This project is one of the biggest projects that has come to Honolulu. What I have the Burial Council doesn't stand in opposition or support of any project, including the rail. Our role is simply to remind these projects of their responsibility to treat our ancestral remains with aloha, with dignity and respect. Please make sure that you have those cultural monitors because this should not be a fast turnaround now. Taking an estrogen shot every week, I think that it's actually damaging to, to your body. You know, mm -hmm. biological women have a once a month uh, menstrual cycle. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So if you run it like that, then you can more, you know, more appropriately regulate your body. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's how I regulate my body. Mm -hmm. I go, I don't go two or three times a month. I go once a month. Because I have been your period. Yeah. What happens if you put in a lighter brown? Oh, it looks nice. Can we do that? Of course. My husband is going to take me to meet his friends, mm -hmm. but I want them to have a, a younger lasting impression of Hinale Moana. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, how old is he? He's 25. Oh, young, nice. Perfect age for you. Perfect. Yeah, that's right, cousin. <laughs> Perfect. I don't want my husband to feel embarrassed. I don't want him to be put on the spot, and I don't want him to have to ever be faced with the thought that the people would look at him with the same kind of discrimination and prejudice that other people have looked at me for. The truth is he's very protective over me. Sometimes he thinks that I would leave him or, you know, go find somebody else. I said, you don't know me. When I love you, I will love you to the, to the last day. Honani oh, asked me to be involved with the high school boys. I, I knew that she would want to be in any of the numbers that I talk to the high school boys because she always asks me to be in every boy number. Assume this position. I was going to tell her no, but once she gets it in her that she's gonna do something, she will do it. Gotta go, let's go. Okay. Ready? Go. She heard us. How did you know? 
Oh. All right. Ready, push. Oh, yeah. On a hold, on a hold, on a hold. On the end. Yep. You have been the Kane of the class that have struggled from the beginning of the year. But this is a time for a new you. This is a time for a different you that your family has never ever seen. This is a time for strength. This is the time of Ku. We are out of the time of Lono. This is a time of Ku. You have a biological wahine standing over here in front of you because she has more Ku than everybody else around here. Even though she lacks the main essential parts of Ku. But in her mind and in her heart, she has Ku. So, in your mind and in your na'au, in your no'o no'o and in your na'au. Ola lo mai, no'o no'o. Na'au. In your no'o no'o, in your thoughts and in your na'au, in your gut and your heart, the Hawaiian heart, down here, you better have ku. Like I said, size doesn't matter. Because even with nothing, she no more ku down there. Never had it, never will. Do not let Ho'o have bigger coup than you. Because if so, you guys, shame, I swear. All right, here we go. Love you all. Aiha! Feel the tension. Ai kabubu ke ke no ke ke po hoi hoi ke. Ai kabubu ke ke no ke ke. I really like what he was doing with the kids, so anytime she asked, you know, I always made sure that they were present and accounted for. <laughs> Can you stop doing that before something flies off? You always do that. Thank you. I'm going to put this away so you don't hurt yourself. Sing something, please. Oh, God. No, can you just start from the beginning, you know, the pronunciation is family. Okay. Family, that's the important thing to me. Family. is the youngest out of five children, three boys and two girls. I want my children, my girls, to learn the hula and learn Hawaiian culture because I never did. That's what they gain from Halau Lokahi is the confidence to just stand up in front of other people and do your best. So don't you blame your mom and dad. Sometimes they got to blame the man family. <laughs> That's an important thing to Okay. It's okay, doing good. Hello. My popo used to always say, the good Lord is with me. And I believe it. He brought me my husband almost a year ago. And now it's time for me to go back and and join him in Fiji and bring him home. Well, nowadays, Polynesians, like everyone else around the world, usually travel by plane. But our ancestors traveled thousands of miles across the ocean in great double hump canoes. I'm not quite sure what it's going to be like to see my husband after such a long time. But I know one thing's for sure that I really can't wait to see him. I'm going to be so happy. His face is what I've been waiting to see.
to express what I'm feeling inside. I write songs uh, that are true. I never tell a lie in my songs. My hila hila means no be shame. I myself, uh, other people are their selves. I don't give a crap of what other people say. seem that I'm happy and having fun all the time and you know our relationship is just this really lovey-dovey couple and we have that aspect about us but the truth of the matter is that I worry about being able to pass and being able to convince him a circle here that there's nothing different about his wife from any other man's wife that's walking around here. He'll always tell me, just play the role, play the role, you know. But I've had this voice my entire life. What am I going to do? 
I don't want to have to be pretentious with my voice with him when I'm whispering in his ear. My natural ways transcend being just an ordinary woman, you know, I'm, I'm both. So what am I going to do? I don't know. Sucks to be a mahu sometimes. This is my friend. Fuck your friend. Emma, te taparo por el malaji o capao te que fa a peje y yao. Leon o bebe cojai. Tu o fija en ni holao que hay, mojai, mojai, mojai. Que que a tal con friend mataus. Capao que peje, fure y vete a que algo marimoya. Maino, fuck your friend. Que a tal con friend mataus. Que no hay en altas y que homo no le mutu. ไอ้กินมาเห็นไม่ก็หนูฟอร์มาริกแกเนี่ยกูตามไม่ฟังเฟรนด์นี่อู๋สิคุยหนูฟอร์มาริกอตาวะเนี่ยเกเกเอ็
you clothes all over the place. Kwe tau mu e kau kau ke ma e tu ngai ku. Mahi no? It's almost ready. Kwe fai poi ni lahi e, poi ni mahu i ngai e kau kau. Kwe kau kau ke clean e Ngahi area ke ke. Tutu kalu. Ko ofa ogmari. Kako ilo ifa bapao. Ogmano fo ya Amerika. Kako ki ne ilo. Oko ufe ma oke walo feo hui moku kakai. Ke walo inukava. Ke walo tamea. Hiva. Kapa ok teke mahino kahina. Ay foi mea goya. Mai nuk teki ne ilo i au. If I put you in a position of leadership, your eye has to see what I see. Your ears have to hear what I hear. And you got to be able to talk to your people. It's ready to go. Switch it, Sage. Some people don't pay attention because they think they're all bad and they don't have to. But some people actually do pay attention. No, I think you guys did good this time, though. I'm not saying that, oh, yeah, I'm better than everybody else because I'm in the middle. I'm just saying that maybe people should step up to the plate because Kumu's not going to get anywhere with just a few people doing her work. I love to see him in his element. He's a farmer and he's a wild animal. 
on his own right. That's part of his appeal. That my husband is the full-on bush man. You guys go take this. Now my husband's got to just make sure that he focuses on living in the city. American So the reason you have me this morning is because I had a phone call from Kumuhina last night. And Kumuhina was more upset than she has been in a while. I'm going to ask the young kids. Over here at Pualu, do you folks notice sometimes that not everybody participates in Pualu? Yeah. OK, so with the honest answer, who is that group? Yeah. Turn around and say it. Yeah. OK, turn back around. This is a cultural icon in Hawaii. Do you guys all understand? Hina is trying to hold on to what is left of Hawaiian culture. To say the word kumu means what? But what does it mean? If you say aloha to anybody, where is it coming from? Your mouth? Supposed to be. Or don't say the word. When you sing Hawaii Pono'i, what flag do you have on your chest? Hi, Hawaii. We didn't get to sing that stuff in our schools. We had to pledge allegiance to the flag that took over Hawaii. Do you get it? There's a reason you were born in Hawaii or came home to Hawaii. There's some reason. It's divine energy that runs up through the lava. Do you guys get it? You are the warriors of today. This graveyard here is my family plot. And the two most prominent figures in my upbringing were my grandmothers on both sides. 
when I transitioned from boy to girl, it was my grandparents, my grandmothers especially, who loved me above all else. And they didn't care what I was wearing. They didn't care what I looked like. They just cared that I was okay. And they cared that I was gonna be productive and they cared that I was gonna find happiness in my life. This is my grandmother. That's her father. I like transparency in my life, but some people would look at my, my life transitioning from boy to girl, male to female, as being deceptive. But on the contrary, it's me being real with the rest of the world in what I see my life as. Most important to me is that what I do will reflect my love and respect for my family. Eyes up, don't look around, eyes forward. Huli, that way. Chin up. Hello. Well, just wait for the bus. This is why I tell you, get up and go early. Okay. Bye. The group moves. Chin up, back straight, shoulders back, chest up. Yeah. What? Call into the office and say you're waiting for your bus. You might be a few minutes late. That's all you do. Well, look, I'm working. Oh, my God. Do you hear what I'm saying? Oh, <sighs> Rockers in the house tonight. It's on Friday. We're, we're having a dance. Six to ten. You got it. Yeah. Whoa. Woo. I'll let you out on a little secret. There may be a chocolate fountain. <laughs> well, seriously, there may be. You can just get a cup and get it. Okay, Sheila. Oh, Hoi, Tira. It's me, Hina. It's calling to let you know that I was thinking of coming up. So hopefully he's going to be around. I need to run away and get away. It's nails staying over here. My husband is acting up, making any kind. Uh, so I hope that you'll be free and that you can come holo holo with us. Maybe we go visit, visit the girls so my husband can read the real mahu of, of the aina. All right, aloha.
I'll all look like he sit down. In our culture, we have the word called ho ailona. Ho ailona. Ho ailona. Ho ailona means sign. Not just a physical sign, but a sign. So when certain things happen, you think, what is the meaning? Why this this happen? Why now, before we're going on, did my ipu crack? There's a lot ahead of Kumu, and I don't know where it's going. And I don't know what this means yet. I have, I have to sit and think. We're just going to go on with it. If it goes some more, it goes some more. And if I end up putting this ipu down and I just get up and dance with you, you just keep going. No matter what happens, you keep going. I invited Hema to our mid-year concert because I really want him to have an appreciation for what I'm doing for my culture, for my kids at school. I really want him to get a better understanding of my life. Dio, facción mía. Ore que vos tú puedes con tu cabeza. Okay. Okay. The question that I'm sure many Mahu ask themselves, is it really worth it for me to be in this relationship for the sake of having one, yet having to endure all of the trials and the challenges and the obstacles and trying to maneuver through all the ups and downs. Is it really worth it at the end of the day to put myself through this? care for and love us, someone to accept us, and someone to give us the aloha that we seek. Part. Everybody get in line. <clears throat>
What this piece is saying is that like the lava flow coming from Kilauea, the magma itself is like the Moo Moo. It doesn't have arms or legs, but it consumes everything in its path. And slowly but surely, it will continue until it reaches the destination to the ocean. But in the wake of the destruction, there is rebirth and new growth and new place for new life to exist, which is what I believe you have availed yourself too. Like this or like this? Just watch. That's how I learned. The way I learned hula was I watch first and then I try. Most people don't do that because they're afraid or ashamed of what they do and what they produce. The thing is to get better not to be judged on the way that somebody else does it. Haki ka kala. Haki. Haki ka kala. Kala aku. Haki ka kala. What are you doing? I watched this yesterday. Mm -hmm. In the kitchen. I already knew that she was tomboy or whatever. And that's fine because I was, you know, I was like that growing up. In fact, I didn't wear a dress till I was in the 11th grade. <laughs> I would help you, but you'd become spoiled. Really? Yeah. But I hope Ho'onani can be comfortable in her own skin. You know, being in the middle, I guess, is all right. But I've always told her that, yes, you dress like a boy. Yes, you can act like a boy, but you are a girl. It's OK to be a tomboy. It's OK to dance with the boys or whatever, as long as you know you're a girl. I'm not worried. It's still early. It's OK. Anything else? Uh... Just hurry up and do it now. Don't forget to put away the stuff first. Uh, these last couple of months have been hard between him and I. And I'm so glad that he's going to have a chance now to meet with my friends here, whom have helped me to heal on so many occasions. Yeah. You remember when I was 240, girl? Ooh, ah, boom. Ah. Kick on the back, but now look. Well, I don't know, you still look big. <laughs> Shit. Yeah. That armor is still huge. <laughs> that is huge, man. <laughs> I remember when you chest was like this. <laughs> oh. Ah, oh, goodies. Are you going to stay home? I don't know where you guys go. Let's go. Let's go. 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 We'll just hold on. Okay. Okay. I mean, why can't I take the back thing there? Oh, oh Harry, we are, our truck is full. All of our ukana. I think it's Ukana. Yeah. Well, I'm not accustomed to going to Port Hollywood without my dog. Well, you get ghosts. <laughs> no. <laughs> we met in school at the university. We were hanging together, and she was still calling Mong. I had a, I had a dream vision of her. And in my dream vision of her, she was like how you see her now. And so I was the one that told her how she would look and that the Holy Spirit wanted her to grow her hair. It manifested after a while, you know, that, that dream vision that I had of how she would become. And, and what you see is exactly how my dream vision was. How are you kiddo? Oh, fat and sassy as that's wow. Eddie. Eddie. Yes. Hi, Eddie. 
Are you? <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, the whole ohana is over here. Yeah, I still remember that day. Uncle Paul and Super Yes. Now we have all three nicknames Flawless, yeah. uh, U, Ula, and Pa Ula. <laughs> and Uncle Paul on a bad day. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Are you feeling Pa Ula today or Uncle Paul? <laughs> Being a mahu wahine from the city means that my life is always aspiring to what city life will expect. But these are my friends who help to ground me and center me and remind me of how to just be happy in existing in my life as I am. It's part of the magic around traditional Mao. Yeah. You pull it, then she goes up high. When you make it, when you really fit, she goes low. <laughs> and I hope that Hema will see this and that Hema may find his own sense of comfort and security in who he is as well. <laughs> Love you too. Bye, Tira. We all. Time straight people The next day, the islands shook violently. Tutu Pele erupted. Okay, can we not, this is not a funeral, can we please walk normally back off the stage? This is taking too long, you guys gotta hurry up. Tutu Pele erupted from the depths. Time check, it's just about 12.30. For me to have students stand in the middle can be one of the biggest challenges. There's potential backfire from parents and families who may look at this and say that I should encourage a girl to go stand with the girls and a boy to stand with the boys. But that's not my role. My role is to take their young person 
and to help mold them into the best that they can be. Sometimes I feel like I might be setting you up for some disappointment. I know that you like to go stand with all the boys, and I know that's where you like to go, and Kumu is okay with that. But when you work with other people, they may expect you to stand in the girls' line, okay? So, for as long as you stay a young person, you just roll with it, you know? When you get to be my age, you're not gonna have to move for anybody else, okay? To think about Kumuhina's perspective, back then, people intimidated her of, of being that way. Nobody respected the middle people, but I talk the truth all the time. I don't like to lie. So, yeah, we both are in the middle, and nobody teases us for it. Go eat lunch with your friends. Any project that is going to take place on the land of my ancestors should have some way to ensure that proper respect and care is going to be afforded to them. The O'ahu Island Borough Council is very clear that we expect the rail project to follow the law and to use cultural monitors whose practice is Malo Ma'ivi Kupuna. Here I am on a Friday night. Uh, I am here. Uh, because I choose to be an active council member, I prefer to be on site in case there's anything in the trench work that's being done. None of us would want our immediate family yeah. dug up. Just because we don't know who these people are and there's no marker, you know? Yeah. Is it, does it make it okay? Yeah. To turn one's back on one's ancestors is to sever one's self from one's future. I will do everything that I can to prevent that. Now, ladies and gentlemen, uh -huh. it's about that time now. It's about that time. Turn this thing on now. Now, let me see everybody do this. Everybody go like this. Everybody go like this. Let's go. Snap your fingers. But do you stay up? You can do it all. Yeah, you got it. Yeah, it's for you, baby. I'm 
extremely proud of all of you because I see you here on the night of delivery. Y'all get your A. Touch is on boy, but... He is. He is. All right. Okay, inducted in. You guys better bring it. Bring the house down. The next day, the island shook violently. Tutupele erupted from the depths. that number I was so proud love is the biggest thing you know that we should always teach our children is that to love anybody no matter what race no matter what creed no matter what sex no matter what gender <laughs> if you love a person for who they are and let them be who they are and then, I mean, that's that's whole circle, right? I mean, love is a surrounding circle of everything that goes around, comes around. Watch out now, watch out now. The hair gonna be too big for the Expensive. <laughs> oh, you have a birthday candle? A what? A birthday candle. Candle, birthday candle. A oh, birthday candle. Yeah. Birthday candle number nine. Eight or nine. Mm. Aisle number eight or number nine. Any kind? No, no. Oh, up there. You see number 35. You got to go either number eight That's or number right. nine, yes. <laughs> I just give her old props for a little kid like her. She get more guts than all of us. Here. She's a real good teacher. She's like a kumu to all us boys. She's like the shadow, but now she's sticking up now. 
she does have more law than all of us here. And that's the bottom line. I'd like to thank you all for giving me this opportunity. I'd like to thank Kuhina, and I hope you guys like me uh, for your leader. So. I know. I go bring this one for you. in store for my husband and me. I'm gonna be here tomorrow. Tomorrow? What I do know is that I'm fortunate to live in a place that allows me to love who I love. I can be whoever I wanna be. That's what I hope most to leave with my students. A genuine understanding of unconditional acceptance and respect. To me, that's the true meaning of Aloha. Cut and splice this. Water? No. Nope. You sure? Yep. Okay. We're gonna pick it up from here so that you can do a good, good cut. I'm leaving it from the right, right, right. 